Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Andre Sloan as he uh, does a uh, great deconstruction of Mark Manchin, a.k.a. Press NH Now, as he exposes him for the fraud he truly is. So I will leave a link in the description to his channel, and you can subscribe to him after you watch his video. In the meantime, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. So here's what started this whole chain of events. Now, back on January 4th of this year, Mark was involved in a domestic dispute with his live-in girlfriend, Amber Lynn Kinney, as seen right here. Oh, no, say it isn't so. This is a continuing trend of frauditors who tend to uh, physically attack their significant other. Gee, I wonder if it's because they're not real men, so therefore they go after the weaker people of the population, those who can't fight back, which is why they do a lot of their uh, so-called auditing. They get a real thrill out of uh, taking down people that can't defend themselves, such as in offices and uh, women that, well, don't know how to fight back. I'm sure if they found a real woman who could fight back that would be able to put them in their place, then they'll run away like a scared little coward they are. Now, the New Hampshire State Police responded to this domestic, and as you can see from this heavily redacted report that they sent me, the troopers ended up arresting Mark uh, for si domestic violence, simple battery. And that was for assaulting his girlfriend, Amber Lynn Kinney. Now, Mark was ROR'd, which is release on your own recognizance, by the local justice that evening, which means he got out of jail. Um, and Amber Lynn Kinney was uh, given an emergency order of protection against Mark. Well, as top toxic relationships will go, they ended up getting back together. Now, on August 12th of this year, uh, they were pulled over because the police saw them together in a vehicle and Amber came back as a person who had an order of protection against someone who looked a lot like Mark. So uh, the police pulled them over and then Mark decided he wanted to play fuck fuck with the cops and not ID himself and he told Amber not to ID herself. So now Amber and Mark are claiming in this video that the, uh, that the order of protection was dropped. Same old uh, song and dance with the abusive types such as Mark Manchin. Whether it be uh, physical, psychological, or emotional, uh, attack your uh, significant other until they are submissive to you. And over the years... Take them down until they are entirely dependent on you and do whatever you say because you want them to be your own bootlicker. Yeah, Mark, uh, you're not the first one I've ever seen that uh, pulls all that. In fact, my uh, ex-landlord, uh, she was in that kind of relationship too and pretty much still is to this day with, well, her... Uh, significant other who's not getting out until 2026 but they didn't have a copy of that with them and they were playing games with the cops so uh it was uh as you will hear in the video it was still showing in the law enforcement computer system that this violation was or uh, the order of protection was still active so let's listen to that clip right now before you put 20 10 3 am sure Comes back to and there is a criminal bail order between him and. Is her descriptors in there? Can you find her descriptors, please? Is it the other one? No. No. Okay. It wasn't because you know I flipped you out. Go ahead, step for out what? of the car for me. Step out of the car for me. Okay? What for you have a criminal bail order against a female with matching her description. I so do step not. out of the car. I do not. You do. Okay? I can give you my ID okay, and you can double check. Go ahead, step out of is the car. Is that what you're I'm for? asking you to step out of the car. Do you have ID? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. Am I being so detained right now? You are. For what yeah. time? Okay. For what time? So we can right now. Or for what time, sir? What's that? Don't, don't touch her. She's pregnant. Okay. Q. Q. Listen. Q. I'm not resisting. So don't put that. 
Are you body, you got body cams? Are you I recording? Already, I already told What's you your name and badge number? Sorry. ID I'll yourself. You ID yourself. Okay. Do you have ID on you? What's your what? name and badge number? Because I, I told you. To? We're trying to ID him, okay? This is a car registered to somebody that has a protection order against somebody that matches your description. So as you can see in this video, Mark continues to blur out the vehicle that they are driving in while demanding transparency from the law enforcement officers by wanting the sergeant's name and badge number. Typical hypocrite. So the police have hooked Mark up and they take him to the police station to verify the OP. Now there's a lot of banner back and forth between Mark and the, uh, and the cop that I'm not going to go into, but some of it I will. But in all of the... Um, all of this video, Mark mutes Amber Lynn's name every single time it's mentioned. Hey, what's up with that, Mark? Uh, you know, do you do that because you don't want it blasted all across uh, YouTube for some reason? Like maybe you're, you know, you're not proud of her name or something? You don't want it associated with you? I mean, here, you two are looking pretty happy as a couple here. I mean... Here she is with you uh, again at another time down at the Habersham County Jail down in Georgia. Remember back in October of 2022, you know, when you uh, took her down there to get her tubal ligation reversed on your followers donations that they sent to you for other things. Yeah, you didn't put out a video on that, did you, Mark? No, no, no. Yep, I know all about that, Mark. Yeah, transparency can be a bitch, can it? Huh? Can't she, Mark? Yep. You did a fraud it down there and you got arrested for it. Remember, Mark? So there's that picture, too. So coming back to our situation here on August 12th, where they're pulled over. So on the way to the police department, the sergeant got Mark to admit that the police had probable cause to pull them over, Mark and Amber anyways, um, because uh, there was an order of protection and the car uh, matched the description with the license plate and the two people in the car matched the descriptions. Let's listen to this right here. I, on the side of the road, I yeah, tried getting, man. listen, listen to me. Okay, Mark, I tried getting dispatch to the, read the uh, order department. and get a copy of it. Look. Can you, uh, I have a radio that that criminal mail order is no, valid in the computer? From what I can see, it is active. Hold, hold on. When I walk up to the, when I walk up to the car and you're immediately, hey, fuck you, I'm going to do all this. Guess what? That's guess what? what? If you, guess what? What's that? I did that to him driving by. Okay, cool. That's why I'm getting okay. pulled over. Okay. That, that's not why you're getting pulled over. You're getting pulled over because of the, the bail order on your license plate yeah, when I ran it. Was, right? What's that? I don't, I didn't know who you were. But I had probable cause. Yeah, I agree. Right. Then, while Mark is being processed for disobeying an officer for refusing to ID himself, the sergeant goes out to the lobby to talk to Amber, where he gets her to admit that the police had probable cause to pull them over. And Amber herself admits, get this, that the order of protection is still on the state database and even though they kept telling the two sergeants that it was dropped. So what are the police supposed to do? I mean, on, on the side of the road like that, believe two pathological liars? I don't think so. Nope. And, you know, especially when everyone's refusing to ID themselves. So, nope, they take you down to the police station to verify everything. So let's look at this clip. Okay. So we got the, the order returned from the repository. It's been now, amended. Correct. Yes. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to explain to you yeah. is that's going to stay in the system until somebody decides to take it out at the state level. We know. Okay. And we were waiting until after the baby was born and there's a court date after the baby's born. Okay. And that's fine. So what I'm trying to explain to you is if you were to get stopped again, because there is enough probable cause there when you run his license plate, his descriptors match and your descriptors match. Okay. Okay, do you understand that? Yes. Okay. So if I walk up and, and ask for you guys to identify yourselves and figure it out, and then you go, hey, that order's been vacated, whatever, okay? Guess what? I get that. I, we sit on the side of the road. I make sure that it's good to go, and you guys go on your way. Is there any but way? But the, him refusing to identify himself, telling you that you don't have to identify yourself, things like that, that's where it becomes a mess. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. If If he had said, hey, I'm me, and you went, yeah, I'm me, that order's been vacated, I get it back, okay, see you later, bye. Him telling me I, I don't have to identify myself to you, I don't have to answer questions, 
Well, he does because he is the subject to a criminal investigation as well as driving a motor vehicle. So him failing to identify himself is what makes him get arrested okay. for disobeying an officer, okay? He's not getting charged with criminal or breach of bail for the criminal bail order because it is vacated. I just want to explain that to you so that way if you guys run into somebody else, all you have to say is, hey, that's been vacated. Could you please provide us with a copy of whatever it is you have so that we can stick it in the glove box? Um, just in I'll, case. I'll have to I'll have to see if I can give that to you, okay? I think you have to technically get it from the court, okay? Do you cuz you guys should have both received a copy I, of the amended order. I we moved. <clears throat> I understand. So <laughs> when I get them from the state repository it doesn't necessarily mean I'm not sure that I'm allowed to give you that copy. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. That's that's where I I'm not sure. So because what is he being held on right now? Disobeying an officer? Disobeying an officer. Is he okay. going to jail? Nope. Well, if as long as he cooperates with the bail process, yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll come out here, 40 bucks, see you later. How long okay. will this take? Well, the bail commissioner's in route. So okay. Probably 45 minutes. There's a bathroom here around the corner. I know. Yeah. I already used it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Did you have any questions for me? Can I leave my phone number? Because I'm going to go sit outside. He's just going to come out to the lobby after he's done. So if you're just going to go sit outside, that's fine. Because I'm just going to tell him that you're outside. Okay. Do you plan on leaving? No, I don't know. I don't know this area. Okay. Then the Wait, folks, you heard her say it. They both knew the order of protection was in the state database. So why did Press NH now, Mr. Mark Manchin, and his girlfriend, Amber Kinney, make a 19-minute video berating this, these officers for doing their job. Well, it's pretty much the same reason why uh, he abuses his significant other for a feeling of power over somebody else. Because he knows the cops can't really do anything to you, and that's what he wants to do. He wants to push it to the very limit and make himself as powerful as he can be. Because if somebody actually stood up to him outside of a police officer or anything like that, he would fold like a paper tiger and he knows it because he doesn't have the uh, cojones to take anybody on other than the weaker ones of, the, uh, of society. And those who he knows can't exactly do anything to, to him at that particular time. But, you know, sometimes he miscalculates and he gets arrested. And that's his own damn piss-poor planning right there. That's what I want to know. I mean, he put derogatory captions in the video of, you know, that the their rights were violated and that, you know, they were pulled over uh, uh, without any reason, you know, and it was an unlawful arrest. And he even put a copy of the uh, form where the OP order had been uh, had been revoked all while knowing that these cops were just doing their job because that order was still in the state database. I mean, to me, that's a punk move, a real punk move, if you ask me. I mean, he could have made that video to be, you know, like, hey, look, this screw up Amber and I had to go through because someone at the state level didn't do their job. But no, this fucktard had to make it all about the cops just doing their job. So now... We've exposed Mark Manchin as a liar again because he intentionally made this video to portray the officers in a bad light when he knew the order of protection was still in the database and that these cops were just doing their job. I mean, come on. I mean, and then next we exposed every time his videos uh, mute is because the name of his girlfriend, Amber Lynn Kinney, is being said and now we're going to expose why mark blurs out the vehicle in his videos and it's because the car is amber's and he doesn't want you to know what it looks like why i don't know uh why well maybe it has something to do with all the decorations on the rear end of the car i mean for a manly man who likes to abuse his significant other i'm sure that he wouldn't want to be seen in a car that had all that feminine decoration on it now would he yeah probably not but when you uh park it in a public space anyone can take pictures of it right <laughs> so 
That's the ongoing hypocrisy of Press NH Now, Mark John Manchin, exposed for all to see again. Now, it's not the video that I've been wanting to put out for several months now, but I keep get, that I keep getting messages about. Uh, but it's something to, that, uh, and it shows the hypocrisy of this uh, drag on society. Hey, Mark, are you still living off of Amber's welfare? We all want to know. Well, I know people like this, and Andre, I can most likely say, yes, he probably is living off his girlfriend's welfare check. I mean, he's a low-down, dirty scumbag who, well, wants everything to himself. He's going to use that money, he's going to use her, and he's going to drop her when it is most inconvenient to have her around. Even if she's pregnant and has his child, he doesn't give a damn. He'll just use her and lose her when it's convenient for him. But that's my take on it, considering I have known a few people like that in my own personal life. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.